In 2019, scientists uncovered the world's largest volcanic caldera, an ancient sunken giant hidden beneath the Philippine Sea, stretching 150 kilometers wide, four times bigger than Yellowstone. Apolaki's colossal collapse was so vast that no one believed the data at first. But how did the planet's greatest volcanic scar stay secret for millions of years? And what forces lurk beneath its silent floor? Aboard the research vessel, the glow of computer monitors cast pale light across faces tense with anticipation. Dr. Jenny Ann Barreto, lead marine geophysicist, watched as the bathymetric data streamed in, each new pass revealing more of the seafloor's secret contours. The lines on the screen began to curve, forming a shape so vast and symmetrical that for a moment, disbelief hung in the air. When the map lit up, we didn't believe it at first, she later recalled, echoing the astonishment that swept through the team. Years of overlooked surveys and limited resources had kept this part of the Philippine Sea a mystery. But now, the evidence was undeniable. The feature stretched farther than any caldera recorded, its rim arcing across the digital seafloor like the outline of a lost world. Barreto and her colleagues, including Ray Wood and John Milsom, pored over the data, checking and rechecking for error. The scale defied expectation. Once the measurements held, the team faced a decision, how to name a discovery of this magnitude. They chose Apolaki, after the Filipino god of the sun and war, a name that carried both the power of myth and the weight of national pride. Their findings, published in a peer-reviewed journal in 2019, transformed a hidden depression into the world's largest known volcanic caldera and set a new benchmark for marine geology. In that moment, the Philippine rise was no longer just an underwater plateau. It was the site of a scientific revelation. Beneath the surface of the Philippine Sea, the Benham Rise stretches across an expanse few have ever seen. This submerged plateau lies about 400 kilometers east of Luzon, occupying a staggering 13 million hectares, an area larger than Iceland. The sheer scale of Benham Rise is matched only by its depth. Its flanks plunge from 2,000 to 5,000 meters below sea level, creating a hidden landscape that until recently eluded even the most detailed nautical charts. Modern multi-beam sonar was required to reveal its contours, mapping a region where light never reaches and pressure would crush a submarine hull. The Apolaki Caldera, at the heart of this plateau, measures 150 kilometers across. To put that in perspective, it dwarfs the Yellowstone caldera in the United States, which is just 55 by 80 kilometers, and Indonesia's Toba caldera, which is about 100 by 30 kilometers. Apolaki alone covers roughly 17,600 square kilometers, four times the area of Yellowstone and six times that of Toba. Its size remained hidden for so long, not just because of its remoteness and depth, but because the Philippine rise itself was only formally recognized as Philippine territory in 2012, after years of geological and legal work presented to the United Nations, the caldera's discovery is not only a scientific milestone, but a matter of national significance. The confirmation of this vast volcanic structure, anchored within the Philippine rise, has strengthened the country's claim to one of the world's richest and least explored marine regions. Here, the boundaries of geology, sovereignty, and deep time all converge on a plateau whose true scale is only now coming into focus. Apolaki's story begins millions of years ago, deep beneath the waters of what is now the Philippine Sea. At the heart of Benham Rise, a colossal volcano once dominated the sea floor. Magma surged upward from the mantle, building pressure over countless millennia. When the chamber could no longer contain its contents, a super eruption followed, one that would have dwarfed any volcanic event in human memory. Geologists estimate that this eruption ejected more than a thousand cubic kilometers of ash and rock, a scale that places Apolaki among the rarest class of eruptions on Earth. The Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI, is the yardstick for such events. A VEI-8 eruption is the highest possible, reserved for only a handful of known supervolcanoes. For perspective, the eruption that formed Indonesia's Toba Caldera, often cited as the most catastrophic in the last 100,000 years, released about 2,800 cubic kilometers of material. Apolaki's caldera, at 150 kilometers across, hints at an even larger eruptive force. 
As the eruption emptied the magma chamber, the immense weight of the overlying rock lost its support. The volcano's summit collapsed inward, creating a depression so vast that its rim arcs beyond the horizon of the seafloor. Radiometric dating of rocks from Benham Rise places this cataclysm between 22 and 26 million years ago in the Miocene Epoch. International volcanologists point to Apolaki's structure as a textbook example of caldera collapse, but on a scale rarely seen even in planetary geology. The event left behind a silent monument to Earth's most violent forces, a caldera whose size and formation challenge our understanding of volcanic power and its role in shaping the planet. On the official FIVOL CS lists, Apolaki Caldera does not appear among the Philippines' active or even dormant volcanoes. The most recent surveys, relying on seismic logs, gas emission data, and high-resolution bathymetric scans, show no signs of volcanic unrest. There are no tremors, no plumes of gas rising from the seafloor, no measurable swelling or sinking that might hint at magma moving deep below. For volcanologists, these are the essential signals that separate a sleeping giant from one that is truly extinct. Melissa May Garcia, a volcanologist with FIVOLX, puts it plainly, Based on current geophysical data and scientific assessment, it is considered inactive, and there is no evidence suggesting any volcanic activity or potential hazard. The last vestiges of heat and pressure that once fueled Apolaki's eruption faded millions of years ago. Today, the caldera's floor is cold and silent, its vast rim slowly blanketed by layers of marine sediment. But the challenge of monitoring a feature this remote and deep is immense. The Philippine rise lies far from land, beneath thousands of meters of water, where conventional seismic networks and gas sensors cannot reach. Only a handful of expeditions have deployed ocean bottom seismometers or sampled the caldera's sediments directly. Most data comes from shipboard instruments and brief survey windows, leaving long gaps between observations. Without a permanent network of seabed sensors, subtle changes could go undetected for years. For now, the evidence points to a volcano long finished with its work. Yet the tools to watch over Apolaki are limited and the story of its ancient fury is written in rocks and sediments that scientists are only beginning to decipher. Apolaki's eruption, had anyone witnessed it, would have redrawn the map of the region in a matter of days. Models for supervolcanoes of this scale suggest that ash clouds could have blotted out the sun across the western Pacific, with fallout thick enough to bury entire provinces beneath meters of volcanic debris. In eruptions like Toba's, ash drifted thousands of kilometers, triggering a global chill. Apolaki's size hints at an even broader reach, capable in theory of cooling the planet by several degrees and plunging ecosystems into chaos. Yet the true impact stretches beyond catastrophe. High-resolution multi-beam surveys have revealed a complex network of smaller volcanic cones within the caldera's rim, each a fossilized record of ancient eruptions. These features, mapped in detail for the first time, offer scientists a rare laboratory for studying how supervolcanoes evolve and collapse. Every ridge and buried cone tells a story not only of destruction, but of the dynamic forces that shape continents and oceans. In Apolaki, danger and discovery are inseparable. The threat it once posed is now the key to understanding the planet's most powerful geologic engines. Pressure is mounting on the Philippines to decide how to manage the riches and risks of Benham Rise. Beneath the waves, companies eye deposits of rare earth elements, vital for electronics and green technology, while marine conservationists warn that deep-sea mining here could destroy fragile ecosystems and erase geological records that have lain undisturbed for millions of years. Legal frameworks, set by the United Nations in 2012, confirm the Philippine claim, but enforcement and stewardship remain unsettled as international interest grows. Scientists led by Dr. Jenny Ann Barreto argue that the greatest value may lie in research, not extraction. Barreto's team outlines three urgent priorities. To pinpoint the timing of Apolaki's super eruption, to map the spread of volcanic ash and sediments across the Pacific, and to search for any traces of magma deep below the caldera. As Barreto reflects, we are only beginning to understand what Apolaki can teach us about our planet's history and about our responsibility to protect its future. 
In 2019, scientists confirmed that the Apolaki caldera, hidden beneath 2,000 to 5,000 meters of the Philippine Sea, spans 150 kilometers, making it the largest volcanic caldera ever identified on Earth. This discovery, published in peer-reviewed journals and led by Dr. Jenny Ann Barreto, redefined the scale of ancient volcanic events and the geologic significance of the Benham rise. Apolaki's Pliocene age supereruption likely exceeded the force of both Yellowstone and Toba, yet its full impact on the planet is still being studied. While no current signs of activity have been detected, scientists continue to investigate the exact timing and aftermath of the eruption, as well as the potential for hidden magma beneath the seabed. Today, Apolaki's presence shapes debates over resource use and environmental protection in Philippine waters. As research continues, the Apolaki caldera remains both a scientific milestone and a reminder of the powerful forces beneath our oceans, forces that have shaped and could yet transform our world.